Hello everyone, this is the Allen Man. I'm showing you how to make a basic tire in Z Modeler 2. And the last one I textured the uh, tread on this tire. So now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't texture the whole front end portion. And like I said, if you keep it in uh, faces mode and you use select separated, just highlight one of your polygons. Like we're going to start this whole outer side right here. We're going to try to texture that. Right click and it selects just those. This right here, the inner portion right here, I'm going to adjust that to where it comes down a little bit closer because that's going to be the start of the rim. So I'm just going to do these on the outside right now for right now. I'm going to go to Materials Editor, pick my Texture 1, and Assign. Hit OK. And as you can see right here, it's Assign on those polygons, on those faces. So all I have to do now is uh, adjust those. I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'll set this on quadra. And in your left view window, you want to right click, mapping, edit UV, and then instead of selecting your old mapping, you want to generate a new. So if you click on that and say OK. If we look over here in the UV mapper, you can see the, uh, these polygons. Of course, this is a whole lot bigger than what the texture I have for it set down here. You can do that two ways. You can go ahead and scale this down, move it over and scale it down. Or you can just go back up to your left view window and bring that, zoom that out as far as you can. Or you know, take a wild guess as to how big it would be right click again mapping edit UV generate new hit OK and if you look over here in the UV mapper it's made it smaller maybe a little bit too small but I think we can work with that so you want to go up here to the objects mode have selected mode on and you can see right here that you can highlight it now since I'm in select quadra I can uh, right click hold and then drag highlight those polygons and then let go and those are selected as you can see now I'll move that over modify move X and Y on and I'll set it as close as I can to the center of this like so and if you want to scale this you got to make sure that you reset your axes of this these polygons to the center and the way you do that is you go to display local axes center to object if you click this little box right next to the local axes you get some options you want to have check keep object and then offset come back over here to the UV mapper window and highlight your uh, polygons and left click once as you can see it centered it so now we can scale that take this off go to modify scale click the box right next to it I don't have any of these checked right now so that's okay you can leave those off you're still on X and Y come back over to your UV mapper and set it like as close as you can to the center left click hold and if you move it down you'll uh, make it smaller if you move it up you make it bigger you want to be just inside that texture like so. If you look over here in the perspective window, you can tell that I've got it set on there. I want the letters to show. And the way I do that is I just pick the inside of this and scale that in. To do that, you want to be in vertex mode. So come up here and hit vertex mode box. Come down to your UV mapper window and on your polygons, highlight them and left click once and you can see all the vertic uh, vertices here so I'm going to right click select go to select quadra right click hold and drag and select all those on the inside go all the way around like so One more to go now I'm still in selected mode Go to Modify, 
scale x and y are still on go in the center left click hold and then go down it brings it in some I want it about right there if you look over here you can see how it's set now you'll come across this problem here where it's backwards the lettering is backwards and you can easily fix that you want to highlight all these or deselect all these I should say deselect go back to object mode that's still selected zoom out just a little bit go to modify mirror uncheck that or check the little box right next to it you get these options right here you can have these checked or unchecked it's up to you right now it really doesn't matter because we're just doing a mapping and you want to take off the Y axis leave your X axis on come down here to your, to your UV mapper window highlight your uh, polygons left click once and you can see over here it moved it out way over here but that's okay because you can move it over if you want to modify move I'm still on X axis so I can move left and right highlight it and just drag it over and try to set it as close as you had it like so and if you look over here in the perspective window you can tell that the letters are correct on there a whole lot better deselect this hold control right click hold and drag and then let go and deselects it go back up here and go hit your uh, faces mode and hit on your object either front view or left view highlight it and left click once and you get back to your uh, faces and you can see those are still selected hold control right click hold drag and then let go and it deselects those so I'm going to go ahead and get the portions in the center right here I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, not delete but select all of these at one time this these ones right here and then this one right here I'm leaving the ones on the inside for right now alone so I'm gonna select those separated you want separated highlight one click or uh, right click once and it selects all them same thing for the center okay you want to go to materials editor assign and you want to add a different texture not a different texture but a, it's the same texture but you're gonna have you're gonna add a, uh, another uh, attribute to it so just click new material leave that at new material or you can name it something else something else so you can name it texture 2 2 enter gray box the white and the textures layers the first box you want to add that same one say okay I'm gonna add a reflection map to this so it looks kinda of like chrome so underneath that click on that you wanna add I'm gonna add a default texture the default texture that's in the game I've got this name something different but it's the same one click OK on that and come over here to the edit box on the same line as that one yeah, it's a texture layers property editor you want the applied texture as low level additive use UV mapping as auto sphere environment click OK and then hit assign say OK as you can tell there it is right there we just gotta map the polygons correctly to where I want it on that texture and I'll show you that in the next video Thank you for watching and good luck.